In this demonstration, you will see me configure virtual machine high availability on a Windows Server 2019 failover cluster. We start here in the failover cluster manager. And the first thing that we do is we go to roles and under virtual machines in the actions menu, we can create a new hard disk. So I'm showing you how to create a highly available virtual machine hard disk. So we select the node we want to put this on. Then we go through the create a new virtual hard disk wizard. Here we're choosing a VHDX that is dynamically expanding. We give it a name. Now the key in making it highly available is to set the location to be a cluster shared volume. So we browse here and our cluster shared volumes in the cluster storage directory, volume one. So we select that folder. And when we do that, we specify the size of the disk and we click finish and we've created a highly available virtual hard disk. The next thing we're gonna do is create a highly available virtual machine. So we select the node that we want to deploy it on first. We go through the new virtual machine wizard. So we give the virtual machine a name. We call it just new HAVM. We specify that we're gonna store the virtual machine in a different location. Again, we have to put it on the cluster shared volume. If you don't put it on the cluster shared volume, you can't make it highly available in a failover cluster. You can certainly do other techniques such as VM replication. The next thing we do is we specify a virtual machine generation. Here, we're just gonna go with the basic gen one. We're gonna give it two gig of RAM. We're not gonna assign a networking resource, but you would do this in a real world environment. We're going to create a hard disk and then we're gonna install an operating system. Now, when you choose the ISO that you wanna to use to deploy this highly available virtual machine, assuming you're not deploying it using something like Windows Deployment Server, you need to have that ISO on a cluster resource. So here I've got a Windows Server 2019 ISO that's sitting in cluster storage. But if I had it sitting locally, that couldn't be highly available because whereas the VM failed from one node to another, the ISO wouldn't come with it. So I specify the location of that ISO on cluster storage. I click next, I click finished. Those VM settings are configured. Now, when I finish that, it automatically starts a high availability wizard and then just says, look, high availability is successfully configured for this VM role. What I do then is I select the preferred node for the VM and I configure the failover settings. So what I want this to do is should it fail over, I want it to automatically fail back immediately to its preferred node. The next thing I do is I start the VM. Now I configured the VM, but I didn't actually install an operating system. So I click connect and this basically opens up a virtual machine connection. You can see the start of the Windows Server 2019 installation return. I click install now. I don't have a product key. I'm just choosing Windows Server 2019 standard desktop experience. I accept the license terms. I select custom. I select the drive I want to put it on, which is the one that's sitting on that cluster shared volume. It then goes through the installation process as normal. This has been sped up a little to make it a little more tolerable. The virtual machine restarts. I put in the administrator password. Installation completes. I sign on using that account that I just created. Now what I wanna demonstrate here is that the VM remains online while we actually file from node to node. So all I do is open up Task Manager and you can see Task Manager there running with the CPU readout showing. I select move the virtual machine using live migration from the node that it's on, which is SVR1 to SVR2. I click OK. And what I'm gonna do is flick back and forth here between the console and you can see live migrations occurring in the background there. It's 48% complete. We can still see the VM here, it's still connected. We do get a disconnection in virtual machine connection, but it comes straight back up. And we can see that the virtual machine has retained its operational state 
and that task manager there is showing the CPU state. And we've got in the background the server manager console just doing a bit of a refresh. We can see this CPU ticking over here. And when we come back to the failover manager console, we're able to see now that the VM is now running on node SEA SVR2. So in that demonstration, I showed you how to configure high availability for a Windows Server virtual machine on a Windows Server 2019 failover cluster.